<laughs> Just for some understanding, the uh, last time I rode a horse <laughs> was when I was 14 and uh, it almost killed me. And I'm not making that up, but you know, I I'm told they can sense fear. So my confidence is really high. Let's go. Let's ride. Come on. All right. Well, we are on the trail. We don't know how far we got to go, but uh, Tyler said that the trail can get a little sketchy, so. Here's to a safe ride, huh? Huh, Seth? That's Make right. it back in one piece, right? That's right. <laughs> Die in one piece. I already sent out the pin, so if family doesn't hear from us by Friday evening, then to send out the search and rescue. Now we'll be all right. So it should be a good time. Mm-hmm. Fun stuff. It's more too long we need to scoop my pan your or my yeah, they're sliding. Uh, canvas setters up. Alright. You wanna do it now? Yeah, might as well. Might as well. Too wet to plow. Yeah, I'll probably just tie her up right here. Too wet to plow. Oh, that was the boat name. Two at the plow. No, two at the plow is a good one, but you know what it was? <laughs> the Midas Whale. Okay. <laughs> what? No, it was not. That was my boat name, Midas Whale. Might as well, Might as well go fishing. <laughs> Might as well. <laughs> She's just a mini pickles. That's what she is. The whole, the whole ladybug. Yeah, you get down there and you can smell the elk. <laughs> <laughs> this is where you go right here. All right, folks, we're a ways in here. Just doing a little adjustment on the old canvas cutters, sliding back a bit. Things are going good, though. Incredible down here. Ponies all doing good. Gonna have ourselves a fun trip. Let me film you while you film me. You know? The classic. The classic. Dude. <laughs> I'm filming you, you're filming me. This is a good time, isn't it? It is, dude. Hey. Fresh meat over there. Fresh meat. <laughs> That's me. Just spent two years in Florida. Serving the Lord. Serving the Lord. That's right. Looking for a pretty filly. These two yahoos over here. What do we think, boys? I think you guys are pretty good at that. Went pretty far before we had to readjust. I think we're figuring it out for sure. An old crow, she ain't much of a fusser. <laughs> you guys, you guys cocked her up like she was a baddie. The day's not over yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't you, don't you be saying that. Yeah, where's the wood? Let's knock on it. Well, so far so good. Had a few creek crossings, but this country is Awesome.
what do you think? It's pretty awesome. Super awesome. It's gonna be a great ride. Yeah, this is killer country. I'm just ready to see a big old slob muley. They're in here. I bet. And if he is, he's probably a toad. Old and big. Yeah. Just how I like him. It's a good time though. Anytime you can be on the back with a good horse is a good day. Good time. Woo! Easy, girl. What you got, a dinner plate? Dinner plate, that's right. <laughs> old pal ain't going fast enough for old Calamity Ann. Old slick rock. Oh, easy now, easy. How's that, dude? Awesome. That's some. That's, so cool. that's some four mule drive right there, isn't it? <laughs> oh yeah, going up that the Grand Canyon. You can see how deep it starts to get right there. Oh yeah. That's gnarly. Come this way, horse. Yeah, that's a pretty big canyon.
Everybody good? Kind of stay up on the like where it's like, dirt on it. <laughs> she just went straight it. That's what my horse did too. <laughs> you went, you <laughs> followed her. I tried not to, but he <laughs> sent it. Your horse already split one. You can't be doing, you can't be doing stuff like that. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa! No, he jumped and went. Sense, <laughs> he jumped and went. I had no choice. <laughs> your mom would kill me if you fell off that cliff. Don't worry, my foot was out of the stirrup. I was all right, well, we climbed up out of that canyon. It was super awesome. Nate had a near miss. Almost died. Almost died. Horse went out. Horse went out, but we're all good now. We tuck got up roll. top. Tuck and roll. T yeah. Practice is tuck and roll. Now we're just... These guys are saying that it was gnarly, though, right? Yeah. It's like, if you and I are the only ones who are like, whoa, that was crazy, and these guys are thinking, us. Oh, I think it's more crazy going down it. That's what I'm puckered already about. <laughs> but yeah, yeah it was pretty it awesome. Goes down, you'll be fine. It was fun. Old Pickles is getting a little gassed, I think. We're just riding. There's a there's a cabin up here, an old cabin that we're headed to. But we got to find some water for the ponies somewhere. Old Sid, Old Sid's cabin. So we're headed to Old Sid's and hopefully get the ponies some water and get us some chili and all kinds of stuff. Trying to keep it up. Where are we at, Shay? This is the old Colford place. Built by the old Clayton and the Sons in 1936. But I'm checking out that old Comet stove. Look at this thing. Like, how in the world did they get that out here? What do you think, Ty? Covered wagon and some team of mules or what? I bet they tore it apart, put it in a pack mule, and packed it out here. Probably. Looks like you can take put it, it back apart. together, yeah. Yeah. I don't think you can get a wagon up here. How <laughs> good point. <laughs> I don't know what this is though. It kind of looks like wagon-ish. I don't know. Some sort of team. Hey, pickles. But also, the fact that they elevated it—it's pretty wild. Yeah. You really think it's for the mice? Don't you think that's what these are for? The mice can crawl up past the tent? I think no they'd idea. get past that, but maybe not. I don't know. It's pretty They gnarly. couldn't drive a nail in straight to save their life, it looked like. <laughs> hey, they were using a rock, bro. Lay off. <laughs> They're out here with the Milwaukee. <laughs> 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 Schaefer's hating on their craftsmanship. <laughs> We're in the middle of nowhere, <laughs> 1936. There you go. That kind of looks all right. That does does look is that an old Indian pot shard? I think so. <laughs> Anybody want some coffee? Some of this stuff kind of gives you the heebies. You know? Like who's hanging around here? Oh, there's an axe head in it right here. Take that out or not. During one of the old wars. I bet somebody Dude, put that Dude, it starts there. falling apart like... <laughs> yeah. <under the> <laughs> he took out the key holding it all together. <laughs> we were going fast. But, I mean, that man doesn't look too bad to go up. This is some slick rock jeeping right here. Easy now, girl. Got a horse on this. 
horse on loose. All right, we got to where we are camping for the night. Just unloading the horses. Oop, lens dirty. Unloading the horses and mules. Gonna let them feed for a while. We got, got them a drink. Down some pretty shady slick rock. I think Schaefer got some video of us coming out. Yeah. Old pal can't get, get enough. He's kind of a, being a little porky lately. A little bit of a fat lard. A little bit of a fat lard. We're gonna get the saddles off, let them feed, and then let us feed. Do do a little cutter cast this evening. Oh, what am I doing? Should be fun. All right, let's get get the ponies all situated. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. It's a beautiful morning, actually. Slept unreal last night. Probably slept too long. But uh, slow morning get, getting up. Got up, got some photos of the crew and the setup. And now we're just going to let the ponies out so that they can eat a little bit. And then uh, do a little cutter cast, eat some food. Ride. That's what we do around here. We ride. The valiant steeds. Oh, pal. Dropping a deuce, huh? It's a good way to start the morning. Getting her hobbled. Yep. You're on it too. Oh my gosh. A little chalky? Yeah, they're pretty old. A little chalky. Bro, I dropped a deuce on the other side of that tree. <laughs> Holy shit. Bro, that's awesome. Yeah. Check that. Character that is a though. great set. Oh my gosh. Oh, hold him wow, up. Check dude. that out. That's a solid buck. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty like cool. Let's see what the other side looks like. Oh my heck. Bro. I saw deer tracks coming out of here. Look how much character he's got. Yeah, that's crazy. Oh my gosh. Wow. Heck that of a find. Good. That Dude. is awesome. Stud buck. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. He's got some character for sure. Yeah. That's awesome, dude. <laughs> dude that is awesome. That's a solid buck, dude. <laughs> that's killer. Look how bladed he is and stuff. Bunch yeah. of extras. <laughs> So Tyler got lucky, found an awesome set of mule deer sheds 
on his way out to do his personal business. We got the ponies watered, getting some saddles thrown on them, gonna get the gear packed up and then head out of here. So let's do that. Let's do it. What you got here, Schaefer? Oh, you know, just the uh, greatest duffel ever made. The old burrow by canvas cutter. On sale now, actually. <laughs> Other than when this airs, it's not on sale, but it is during this trip. Hey. <laughs> well, you missed out. <laughs> if this is airing after our promo, you missed out. We'll do another, but seriously, I love the heck out of this thing. And everybody I talk to loves the heck out of it. So if you don't have one, you really are missing out and you need one. You can fit a ton of crap and it's durable. And the best thing about it is it's got backpack straps. So there you go, little shameless plug. But it's been a good trip. Got old Crow going, look at that. She's Crow? just taking step-by-step -step improvements. Crow is gonna be handful we thought at the trailer but she she turned great. into a just a fine fine animal yeah this is like her third ride out so whoa she really see, she's improving a ton hey crow don't let me ruin the mojo you got going on here what was that i was just telling crow that you know oh. don't let me ruin the mojo we have <laughs> going on right oh, here oh yeah <laughs> not even that What's your setup here, Shafe? The Cadillac. This is the Cadillac setup. Just starting to break it down to load it up. Oh shoot, we don't want that. Um, so Dominator 2.0, and then the way I run it, and why I call it the Cadillac, is because I've got our mesh, goes full length, and with the mesh, I've got the full poles and the full poles integrate right inside the mesh so technically on those warm summer nights I can just pull that mesh out take my full poles throw it in there and I don't need to run my my canvas dominator and then I always just keep just your Teton zero looks degree. like the deer hunter zero degree it is absolutely the deer hunter zero degree so this pretty much stays in there full time and then I've got the purple pad, foam pad, which is bibbies, which we do have an update on our foam pad, but uh, same foam, just Pickle. different color. Pickles, leave my ride alone. Yeah, seriously. And then I got a just a twin mattress sheet cover over top of it, and that's that's the old summer's abode when I'm out and about. <laughs> And then I think Daniel, you rock the same thing yep. as well, huh? Mm -hmm. And Tyler had standard poles and Nate used the full length poles with, with mesh too, so. I don't like bugs. I don't like creepy crawlies. And so the mesh just gives me that peace and comfort when I'm sleeping. And I don't like dirt either, so I love being able to just zip everything up tight, even in these sandy, deserty conditions, and I don't have to worry about having a dirty bed because nobody likes sleeping in can, a dirty can bed. Can I point out the power stance that's happening right now? That is, <laughs> that is a, that's a power that stance. That is, that's a sore crotch is what it is from Brian <laughs> all day yesterday. <laughs> oh. Okay, so that's kind of how we set it up, how we rolled this trip. Every trip's different, you know, sometimes I'll throw in the Dominator. I almost brought the Summit. It's got the built-in mesh, it's light. Could just stuff it in a pannier, but I love I love me some fortress, so. Got the burrow duffel packed. Got all this equipment packed in it as well, with my clothes and some food, so. My fortress set up here, it's a Teton uh, zero degree bag. And uh, we get a lot of questions about, hey, I've got a bag, it's, it's like 32 inches or it's 34 inches or that bag is that bag's 39 inches wide and yeah it does fit 
in the fortress remember i mean it's just a bag right it's not a solid object so they can compress in and you don't notice it like i i particularly paid attention this trip of whether you notice if it's bunchy and you don't you don't and it doesn't feel bunchy at all so yeah you can use a a bigger flannel bag or mummy bag in the fortress it does fit but i've got to get the pole system out of it get some gear packed up so we can throw it throw it on old crow or the mustang over there and then uh we're gonna roll out of here i think tyler and i will do a, a cutter cast on the way out and then we'll recap the trip when we get to the truck and and do a cutter cast there um hopefully as well so okay let's get packed up let's let's get on the get on the trail all right tyler's getting all the angles back there we got old crow and mustang loaded up the other ponies are all saddled and we're we're fitting to get out of here fitting we're throwing a fit i'm oh, throwing fitting? a fit okay i'm fitting to get out of here so well, just get on them ponies and hit the trail wasn't a bad place for a bedroom for the night, I guess. Yeah. Pretty cool out here. <laughs> yeah. That was sweet. Yeah. But you, we just found a shed, like, a couple yards away from camp. That was pretty cool. But yeah, pretty cool out here. Pickles is over here. Getting in the shade before we make their run home. Trying Daniel? Shap up. Got to shap up. Ready for the ride? Those cedars can be a little mean. came off of that no big deal <laughs> what you think Shay? oh you know every now and again you got to go through something like that yeah or you can just pick up needles with your butt crack <laughs> <laughs> all right well we made it down off that like we mentioned took a little side track so that uh tyler and old red and and daniel could uh bail off some cliffs so that's neat Got it on film, you can see it right now. trust this mule so much I'll go down it without even holding the reins. <laughs> and uh, I'm just gonna get back on the ponies and head up this canyon get to the truck hopefully before it's completely, completely dark. And if it's not, we're all good. Okay, let's go. All right, folks, you can't see it, but we're back at the trucks. We made it back, had a beautiful ride out. It's a full moon. We had an awesome ride out in the moonlight. No, no rodeos, almost had one a block away from the truck. <laughs> uh, pack started to slip a little bit, but Nate was, a, Nate, Nate was a hero. We got it situated. We're at the truck and gonna get unloaded. So 
Almost got Western. Almost got Western. For sure. <laughs> we made it though. We made it. What oh. a day. What a trip. What a trip, dude. What a trip. What a day. Found a sweet mule deer buck set. We got pickles on the trip. He's stoked. He's back. So we're just going to get these ponies unsaddled, loaded up, and finish this off. Mm -hmm.